I'm sorry to hear that. What's wrong with you? You look so upset. I'm so sad. What should I do now? What happened? I've broken up with my girlfriend. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But why? I forgot her birthday. Oh no! But I just forgot because I was so busy at work. <gasps> And did you say sorry to her? Of course, but she didn't forgive me. <sighs> I think you should call her and say sorry again. Does it work? Maybe. If she loves you, she will understand. Okay, I hope so. This is my new dress. Where did you go? I went shopping. Shopping? Yes. Tomorrow I will have a class meeting, and I want to have a new dress. Cool. What did you buy? A dress. Can I see it? Of course. Here. <gasps> This is my new dress. Wow. How lovely it is. Thanks. The color is so nice. I love the color too. I think you look so beautiful in this dress. I will try it for you. Okay. Let's go for a picnic. What will you do this weekend? I'm not sure. Do you want to watch a movie at home? No, I want to go out to relax. How about going for a picnic? It's been a while since we had a picnic. Right? Let's go for a picnic. Very good idea. So, We need to make a list of things we have to buy. Food and drink. I'm so excited about the picnic. Can we invite Alex to go together? Of course. The more the merrier. How far is it? Do you want to come to my home? Really? Why not? Okay, we will go to my home after school. Sure, but how do we go? On foot? How far is it? My house is near our school, about one mile. It's so near. Yes. So, do you walk to school every day? That's right. It seems to do exercise in the morning. It's good for your health. And it doesn't take me a lot of time. I wish I had a house near school like you. It's so dangerous. Where will you 
go tonight? I am going to my friend's birthday party. What time? It will start at 7.30. And what time will you come back? I'm not sure. Maybe quite late. 11 p.m. I think you should come back home earlier. Yes. Because it's so dangerous when you go alone at midnight. Don't worry. I won't go alone. Who will you go with? Anna will go with me. Okay, that's better. Oh, you can't park here. Hello? Is it the T&T Company? That's right. I have an appointment here. And can I park my car here? Oh, you can't park here. There is a signpost. No parking. <gasps> oh, sorry. I don't see that. No problem. So... Where can I park my car? You can go to the public parking. Can you show me how to go there? Sure, it's near. Go straight and turn left. You can see a signpost, public parking. Thank you so much. Don't mention that. Do you make dinner every night? Do you want to have dinner with me? Of course, but where? At your home or at the restaurant? I think a restaurant is better. Sure. Because I'm quite lazy to make dinner at home, as usual. Do you make dinner every night? Usually, I prefer self-cooking. It's more healthy. Right. But sometimes, like today, I want to go to a restaurant. For me, washing dishes after cooking is so awful. Me too. Where do you live? I'm so happy when I can be your friend. So am I. I hope you can help me in learning. Of course. Feel free to ask me anything. Thank you. Or you can come to my home and we can learn together. Really? Where do you live? I live near here, Sky Apartment. Ah, uh, I know that place. Yes, do you want to come to my home now? Why not? So, let's go. How long does it take us to walk to your house? Five minutes. Cool. Did you pass the exam? You look so happy. Is there anything happy? Yes. What is that? Ah, oh, did you pass the exam? That is, I passed it with great scores. Congratulations. You deserve it. Nothing much. I have told you before that you pass. Was it difficult? 
Not really. I found one to two questions tricky a bit, but it was suitable for me. You learned so hard, so it was not hard for you. Yes, because I want to pass it the first time. I tried my best. You did it. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. You learn hard every day. Thank you for always supporting me. Do you need a hand? Andrea, what are these boxes? Ah, the documents. I think they're heavy. Do you need a hand? Yes, help me. Okay, give me. Thank you. Why do you carry such heavy boxes? Our boss said he needed these documents. So I bought them for him. You should ask for help. They're so heavy. Right? I'm so lucky when I see you here. Thank you for helping me. No problem. Who's calling, please? This is Jenny. Hi. I... Hello. Who's calling, please? I don't hear anything. Hi. It's me, Anna. Ah, Anna. What happened? I didn't hear you. Maybe because of the unstable internet. Okay. What's the problem? I called to ask you something about the homework. Do you mean the math homework? No, history. Okay. Did you note anything that the teacher said? Yes, but I put it on my laptop. So, can you send me this file? Sure, I will send it to you now. Thank you. Can I get you something to drink? Hi, what are you going to do? I'm buying something to drink. I'm tired. Me too. The weather makes me tired and I don't have any energy. That's right. Can I get you something to drink? I'd like some Coke. Thanks. No problem. I need some coffee. Both coffee and Coke are not good for our health. I know. But we still need them to have more energy. And coffee helps me awake. I have to finish this deadline. Yes. I try my best to finish it and come home to relax. I'm exhausted. How about a drink tonight? Tonight, we are free. Do you want to go anywhere? I want to go to see a movie. Movie? But is there anything in the movie theater? I don't know. I haven't checked it. I remember that there isn't a new film until next week. Oh, really? What a pity. How about a drink tonight? That's a good idea. Do you want to call for Alex and Jenny? Sure, I think they're free. 
Okay, I will call them now. I'm thinking about what I should dress for tonight. No way. You have a lot of clothes. I have a backache. What's wrong with you? I have a backache. Poor you. Why? I'm not sure. I guess because I sit in front of the laptop a lot. It's a common health problem for officers like us. Yes, I know. My mother was an officer too. She usually said she had a backache. But I didn't believe it when she said that. And now you have to believe. Right. I think we should do some exercise when we have a break. I agree. I'm so nervous about our health. Are you going to work today? Do you want to go shopping with me today? Oh, sorry. I'm busy. Why? Are you going to work today? No, I have an appointment. An appointment? With who? My old friend. I haven't heard about this friend before. Yes, she was my classmate at high school. Oh, I got it. And I recently have met her. So today we're hanging out today. Okay. I'm sure you are so excited about this day. Sure, we will talk a lot because we haven't seen each other for a long time. How much was it? Wow, you look so beautiful in this dress. Thank you. I bought it last week. It is really nice. How much was it? A bit expensive. One hundred dollars. Oh, quite expensive. Yes, but I love it at first sight. So I decided to buy it immediately. Where did you buy it? At the shopping mall near my company. I haven't bought anything at this mall. Do you want to go? There are a lot of new arrivals. Sure. So, why don't we go shopping together tomorrow? That's a good idea. Do you like a new coat? My birthday is next week. I'm sure you're excited about that day. Sure. Will you have a birthday party? Of course, I am preparing for that. I am thinking of what I should buy for you as a present. I love all things. Do you like a new coat? Because the weather is a bit cold now. Don't worry much about the present. When you come to the party. I'm already very happy. No way. I will give you a special present. Thanks.
What a beautiful day! What a beautiful day! Right? The weather is so nice. I love fall. I love winter. But the weather today is really great. It will be wasteful if we don't go out today. How about going to see a movie? I think going outside is better. Ah, going camping is the best choice. That's a great idea. Yes, we haven't gone camping for a long time. Call for Alex and Amy. Maybe they will go together. How many do you want? Hello, I want to buy some pens. Yes, what kinds of pens do you want? Black ink. How many do you want? I want ten. And do you have science textbooks? Of course, it's on the opposite shelf. You can choose there. Okay. Do you want anything else? Let me see. Pen, textbook, and ah, an eraser. Here you are. Okay. How much are they? Ten dollars. Here. And can you put them in a bag for me? Sure. It's beginning to snow. You will be surprised when you go out. What is that? Is there anything special? Come here. Wow! Snow! Yes, it's beginning to snow. Winter is coming! Do you like winter? I love winter. I like cold weather. I think it will be difficult to walk in the snow. But we can go skiing. I love this one. I prefer to go swimming in the summer. I suddenly remembered the movie Frozen. Right? How about watching this movie again after school? That's a great idea. How far is it to work? Are you a new employee? Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What's your name? I'm John. Do you live near here? Yes, quite near. How far is it to work? About five minutes walking. Good, because it's a company policy not to be late for work. It's good for you if you're close to the company. I fear that too. So I rented a house near the company. <laughs> you're so smart. Thanks. I will try my best to work well. Great. When is your vacation? I 
really want to travel to Paris. It's a romantic city. Yes, I have heard about it a lot before. We can visit it when we have time. But when? When we have a vacation, soon. When is your vacation? After this project is over, I will have a week off. We can hang out around that time. Great! How long? About two weeks. Amazing! I want to do a lot of things with you, but you are always busy. Sorry. But I'm so excited about our trip to Paris. Let's work very hard to have an early vacation. Sure. I'm going to play soccer. Do you have any plans for tomorrow? We have a day off tomorrow. Me? I'm not sure. I'm going to play soccer. That's great! Yes, next week our class will have a match with another class. Ah,、oh, I forgot it. So we need to practice. We really want to win. Of course. Will you have time and play with us? Sure. I will check my schedule again and tell you. Okay. If you go tomorrow, come and pick me up. I remember. Don't say that. All my fault. Don't say that, Anna. It's not your fault. But because of me, the dog got lost. We cannot find it. <laughs> I know. You don't want it to happen. What should we do now? I've already posted a search for a lost pet. I hope someone will see it. Go find it at the park again. We've looked there many times already. I hope it's okay, and it will come back. Everything will be okay. Don't worry much. Is she single? Who did you go with yesterday? Who? Yesterday, we met at the supermarket, and you went with a girl. Ah. She is my roommate and classmate. Her name is Anna. She is so pretty. That's right. She is the most beautiful girl in my class. Is she single? What? Why do you ask me that? I want to get to know her. I'm not sure about that. She hasn't talked much about her relationship. Really? Yes, but I guess she is still single. Great. So the next time you go out, invite her to come with you. Sure. Why didn't I think of that? I don't know where my history textbook is. What? 
after the class. I didn't see it. Maybe you leave it in class. So I can't do my assignment. Oh no, I will be punished. No way. Why don't you borrow the book from the library? Great idea. Why didn't I think of that? Borrowing from the library is the easiest way. Oh dear, I spent all day worrying about not having a textbook. You should go to our library right now. Why? It closes at five p.m. What time is it? Four p.m. Okay, I am going now. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.